Good evening, my name is Paola Kanyo Foley. You're welcome again to City News Daily on City TV. Coming up, Assembly is directed not to pay 5,000 Ghana cities each for President Kufuado's visit to the three regions of the North. We have the details of that story. Stay with us. Our first story for this evening, management of Unibank Ghana Limited has refuted claims by the Kolibu Teacher Hospital that it could not work with the end-to-end -end hospital revenue collection software for its on-site banking services. The hospital's management had said Unibank's compatibility shortcomings with the end-to-end -end hospital revenue collection software were essentially leading to revenue losses. The hospital, among a number of claims, also said Unibank skipped a meeting to submit proposals for the end-to-end -end hospital revenue collection software in 2015 aimed at dealing with the hospital's revenue leaks. It said Stambik Bank successfully presented a proposal and was awarded a contract to pilot the new software in the entire hospital, which was valued at $240,000. But Unibank has clarified that the assertion that Stambik's approved end-to-end -end hospital revenue collection software was not compatible with theirs is a total fabrication. Meanwhile, the Kolibu Teaching Hospital has fired back at Unibank. The public relations officer for the facility, Mustafa Salifu, said Unibank does not fully understand the extent of the problem at the Kolibu Teaching Hospital. President Kufuado today began his week-long tour of the three regions of the north. He is expected to commission the WA Water Supply Project in the Upper West Region and also interact with the chiefs and people of Laura, Nandom and Tumu. Now, President is also expected in the Upper East Region on Wednesday where he will inspect the progress of work on the Bogatanga Boku Road and visit some dams there. On Friday, President Kufuad will be in the northern region for a three-day tour. He's expected back in Accra on Sunday, October 8. Um, Meanwhile, the Northern Regional Coordinating Council is asking all metropolitan, municipal and district assemblies in the three regions of the north to disregard an earlier directive, asking them to make available an amount of 5,000 Ghana CDs each for the president's visit. A letter cited by City News from the Northern Regional Coordinating Council taxed each of the 26 metropolitan, municipal and district assemblies to contribute 5,000 Ghana cities each towards the President's visit. But in a statement signed by the Northern Regional Minister Salifu Saeed, he asked the MMDAs not to make the payment. Let's talk about mining issues now because the Minister for Lands and Natural Resources, John Peter Amew, says he will propose to Cabinet an extension of the six-month ban placed on all forms of small-scale mining in the country. The ban, which is to sanitize the small-scale mining industry, is expected to end this month, that's October. But the Minister says the extension is necessary since the moratorium has achieved only 15% of its objective. And that's how we wrap up today's edition of City News Daily on City TV. My name is Pierre Lacanio Fori. Thanks so much for watching. Second image international admissions in progress. Courses available include hairdressing, beauty therapy, and fashion. Call us 1243 331 999. Evening and weekend classes are also available.